Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, So Simple. Today what we're going to learn how to make is a pair of shorts for your husband, your boyfriend, your brother. Now what I've done is I've taken a pair of my husband's shorts already um, only because I'm not good with patterns. So <clears throat> you have that option. I've also folded my fabric into four pieces. And this is my fold right here. So you're going to line up the shorts on the fold like that. And um, you're going to cut around. Make sure that when you cut here, instead of going towards where the elastic is, you're going to go straight up. Because the elastic will make it shrink anyway. So we're going to do that now. We're just going to cut. Uh, make sure you leave um, enough fabric, depending on how long you want the shorts to be. And on top of that, leave about an inch for seam allowance. So let's go and cut that and we'll be right back. Now that you've finished cutting, this is what your pieces will look like when you separate them. They're both, uh, this is the wrong side and this is the right side. So what you're going to do is, you're going to open them up. And now you're going to have the right sides facing each other. Now the wrong sides are facing up and down and the right sides are facing each other. You're going to line them up. What you're going to do now is, <clears throat> once you have it lined up, you're going to pin from here all the way down on this hook up to here. This is where you're going to be sewing. You're going to pin all around here and you're going to do the same for the other side. Okay, once you have pinned your sides, the hook shape, you should have pinned all of this and the same on the other side. Now you're going to take it to your machine. You're going to make sure that you have a ballpoint needle, preferably 80-12 uh, or 75-11. That's um, only because I'm using a thin fabric, so it depends on what kind of fabric you're using. And you're also going to be using a stretch stitch. My fabric has a stretch to it. If yours doesn't, you could use a regular stitch. If you're using any type of stretch fabric, make sure that you have the proper needle and the proper stitch. So I'm going to take this to the machine now and I'm going to sew uh, this hook and the other hook and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have sewn your two pieces together, you've sewn the two hook areas on each side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the pieces and now you're going to they start taking the shape of your shorts. You're going to join these two edges together. Okay, this is just You're going to join this edge with this edge. And what you're going to do is you're going to pin all around the whole side. You're going to pin all of this side right here together so that now you can see that these are going to be the legs. So pin all of that and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have pinned the middle section and have sewn it, now what you're going to work on is the elastic part. So, so far this is where you're short sure look like. Now the, this part here what you're going to do is you're going to take your elastic and you're going to mark it more or less on how wide your elastic is. So 
I'm going to put a little mark right I'm going to leave it uh, give it about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to mark it okay once you do that once you do that you're going to take the part that you marked where the elastic is going to go and you're going to fold it this direction now you want to make sure that this part here is going to be nice and neat and professional looking so what you're going to do is once you fold it once you're going to fold it another little bit and you're going to pin all that edge what this is going to do is that instead of having this edge once you um, finish with your casing it's going to look neater with no rough edges it's going to look this way so you're going to fold it and pin all the way around all the way around the waist and you're going to leave an opening um, preferably at one of these edges so once you get done with the pinning all around this all around leave about an inch opening like this because this is where you'll be inserting your elastic so go to your machine if you were using a stretch stitch before now you could just change it back to a regular simple stitch because this is um, just going to be for the casing so don't be afraid to pin also the pins that you need fold the edge and pin close to this edge because this is where you'll be sewing once you pin and um, you've taken this to your machine and given it a simple stitch around don't forget to leave the opening we'll be back to see um, how to put the zipper in okay so now that you have um, sewn your casing for your elastic we're going to learn a real simple way to get the elastic in there um, what you need to do is you need to cut a piece of elastic wrap it around the person's waist until it fits really comfortable I've already done this one and make sure you leave about this much extra because this is where you're going to be joining the elastic together to make sure that it doesn't um, come off so you take a safety pin put it into your elastic like this now you're going to take that opening that you left that small opening and you're going to slide your elastic in the opening and you're going to help the elastic go all the way through this to me this is the really the simplest way to get an elastic and you know if, you, if you're doing a project with elastic to me this is the simplest way you make your little casing you measure the amount of elastic that you need you leave about an inch extra you use the safety pin and then you just slide the safety pin through your casing as your elastic is going through do this all the way around until you get to the opening where you inserted uh, the first part of your elastic okay so now you have your elastic all the way through here's where both pieces the beginning and the end meet here's your safety pin now you've got your elastic all the way through and what you're going to do is that extra inch that you left you're going to put one piece on top of the other like this this is the extra space that you left once you measured and you're going to sew 
like a little square back and forth back and forth do that a few times go over as many ways as you can it doesn't matter because this is going to be covered up but make sure that it's like this make sure that it's even all the way around so that it's not twisted or anything and sew as much as you can back and forth on this section to make sure that you get a nice tight fit that will that will not come apart easily so I'm going to go to the machine and I'm going to do that now so now you have sewn that little square um, it might not be too clear because I've used white thread but I don't know um, if you could tell that I've, I went over it a few times in the little box and then I went um, sideways any kind of way that you could get the stitch in there so that it's nice and strong and it will, it will not come loose now what you're going to do now that you've done that part is you're going to fit it back in the casing and that little spot that you left open you're going to sew that little spot just to close the casing so that little uh, inch that you left open just give it a stitch right here once you're done with that put this section on your machine and give it a small stitch on the very edge so that you get you have that little gathered look up here and the elastic inside won't turn and will move and it will stay flat so we'll close this up and we'll give it a little stitch all around the edge now you've inserted your elastic and the last part of this project is to do the hem now um, I don't have a serger if you have a serger that's wonderful but um, if you don't have one you can still do a very neat looking hem what you're going to do with this part you're going to fold it once very thin you're going to fold it one more time and you're going to pin all the way around both uh, legs when you're done with your hem it should have no rush no rough edges it should look like this all the way around nice and neat once you're done um, with the folding and pinning you're going to sew at that very top edge as close to the edge as possible and once you uh, finish uh, doing the hem you're done so I'm going to go to the machine and do the hem and be right back and you are done there you have it this is your little hem and you have cute little comfortable shorts to lounge around for the warm weather if you like my channel please like my channel please subscribe if you have any questions um, anything that you didn't understand I'll be more than happy to explain it in more detail check out my other videos and thanks for watching